All right, everyone, welcome back to another Pinball FX2 Han episode. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the Star Wars pinball table Han Solo, the first of many, because there are a ton of tables for this game. The Han Solo table is my favorite. There's no mystical energy field that controls my destiny. It's all a lot of simple tricks and nonsense. And it's because the character is so cool. Just like when you begin any other table, you're given a little overview of it. Oh, this is suicide! There's nowhere to go! That looks pretty good. What looks pretty good? Another reason why I enjoy this table is that I enjoy- I like the animation. Chewbacca on the left and Han Solo spinning around in his chair from time to time. And I also like the voice clips that play during gameplay as well. And overall, it's, it's pretty- great table to earn some big points. You're trying to gain all the letters of courage as well as some other missions that pop up on the table from time to time. You might have to shoot into the Millennium Falcon and uh, get the ball around the table in certain ways. During gameplay there's even a way to increase the points that you're getting by raising the bonus multiplier. Um, in addition to Courage that will light up as you kind of get the ball around the table, there's also Solo, which will, I think it will pop up in this video as well. It's going to be in the top left there, right where Courage is. Um, S-O-L-O, -O, which is actually in the in and out lanes of the table. So if I can get the ball around those, I can light that up and have the opportunity for a skill multiplier. And I completely messed that up. Hit the ball around the Millennium Falcon. If you would join us. No, oh, this is suicide. There's nowhere to go. That looks pretty good. What looks pretty good? And there's also the Death Star as well as the probe that's popping up as well. There's tons of things to do on this table. I love it. I believe that centered compartment that the ball is falling into is the way to activate the multi-ball, I think. Or the extra ball, I should say. Yeah, I activated one of those solo things, if you, if you saw that. Han Solo shoots first, which is why he's so cool. He certainly has courage. What good will it do is if he gets himself killed? So we got one courage ball locked in there, and then uh, if you fill up Courage, I think, three or four times or something like that, you get the multi-ball, and I think that's one of many ways, because I've seen the multi-ball be activated different ways on this table. You can, uh, the Death Star way, I think, and there's, like, uh, another multi-ball um, in, like, one of the mid-ramps as well, so there's multiple ways to earning points. There's lots of flexibility on this table, so to speak, in terms of uh, how to earn points and where you can kind of just get the ball to and still have a, a good game, unlike some of the other tables we've seen that are, are some are pretty bland, like the extreme table, would join us. while uh, some other tables award big points in multiple ways as well, like the pocket table, and those are all part of the, the looks pretty good. original looks pretty good. Pinball FX packs. Zen Pinball has done a pretty good job with the Star Wars license, in my opinion. We'll be seeing multiple Star Wars tables over... Uh, time. I plan on getting some more Pinball FX2 Star Wars Pinball videos out there. But Han Solo, this one is pretty much my favorite out of all of them. I, I enjoy a couple of the other ones as well, but I, I don't think not as much as Han Solo. Hokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side. Fun fact, did you know that 
Harrison Ford was considered for the role of Jethro Gibbs in the TV show NCIS. His agent pushed him to pursue the role because he was experiencing a slump in his career at the time, Harrison Ford was, but declined. And as we know to this day, the awesome Mark Harmon plays the role of Gibbs. Let's begin a second game here. Nowhere to go. That looks pretty good. What looks pretty good? So the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. One of my previous videos, I said that pinball was a game of luck, and someone said that it was proven that pinball is a game of skill. And I, I can partly agree with that, and particularly on this table, I think it's a game of skill, but on some of Zen's other tables, for the other original tables, I think it was more of a game of, of, of luck than uh, skill. Help if I got out and now that part was a, probably a game of skill. Good to keep the ball rolling around inside the Millennium Falcon there. And you gotta love C-3PO at the bottom. That's awesome. will it do is if he gets himself killed. All locked. I would be extremely pleased if I could activate the multi-ball on this table for you guys. I have I've done it off video, but I, I like to show it on video. That'd be pretty cool. I never quite understood how to play this part. I'm moving, but I, I could not for the life of me figure out which button it was to drop the ball. So that's why I kind of missed my opportunity there, so to speak, to, uh, to do that part. beat the Star Wars music that's playing on these tables. Star Wars, man. We would be honored if you would join us. No, this is suicide! 
sign. There's nowhere to go. That looks pretty good. What looks pretty good? This is the Xbox 360 version, and I think no matter what version you play, you can compete against your friends in terms of uh, points and all. And unfortunately, I I've lost. But good game though. I hope you enjoyed this video showing a little bit of the Han Solo table. I'm not a complete master. I play this because I enjoy pinball. I enjoy pinball FX too. But I hope you guys stick around for future videos. I'll be showing off more Star Wars pinball tables.